Welcome to the workshop on advanced structural analysis and design of apartment building using ETABS. In this session, we will learn how to design, analyze and intercept the result obtained from the ETABS software. Now let's look at the 3D view of the building which, which we are going to analyze and design. This is the 3D view of the apartment building. As always, these are the plan of the building. Uh, this plan consi consists of the shear wall, lift course, staircase. Um, here we have to we will learn how to design staircase also. We will learn how to put the shear wall, orientation of the shear wall, orientation of the lift core. Um, this is a highly unsymmetrical building uh, also as well as the irregular building. We will learn how to de uh, design this type of structure. Mm, this course is divided into nine model. Mm, in the first model, uh, uh, we have named is it is the basic of structure design. In this session, we learn uh, the following topics like grade of concrete, cover to reinforcement, introduction to building configuration system, water regular building, water irregular building. We'll be familiar with with the design codes. Indian Standard 456 is to 2000, 1893 to 2002. Uh, Doctoral detailing code Indian Standard 13,920 is to 2016 or 13,920 is to 1993 as well as uh, the provision for the dead load, live load and wind load uh, is that um, Indian Standard 875 Part 1, Indian Standard 875 Part 2 as well as Indian Standard 875 Part 3 as well as Nepal Building Code NBC 105 for seismic design of the building in Nepal um, for detailing we will use SP 34 1987 also in this module we will learn maximum and minimum reinforcement in column, beam slab staircase as well in footing also for the roof truss we will learn the truss elements like ms post porins rafters as well as the cgi sheet now in module second we will learn advance of structure design we will learn about the basic of this like we will learn how to look the code uh, we will learn what is vertical vertical irregularity in building structure as well as we will learn what is mass irregularity, what is soft story, what is extreme soft story, what is short column effect, what is torsion in the building, what is stiffness irregularity and how to avoid this in the building structure. Also we will learn how to orient the column position in the building. Uh, we will learn introduction to the tube system either primary beam, secondary beam, territory beam and also we will learn how to avoid the floating column in the building. Um, also, we will learn how to um, how to provide the plain plim in the building. Uh, also, we will learn what is the uh, pounding effect in the building, effect of the soil and structure. We will learn the concept of strong column wheel beam. We will uh, learn the um, beam column joints, how to provide the beam column joints accurately so to avoid the earthquake failure on the building. We will learn development difference between the development length and the anchorage length. Um, also, we will learn effect of discontinuous structure of wall in the building uh, when uh, how can we avoid if we provide the uh, shear wall in the building uh, in which orientation we have to provide the shear wall in the building how to make symmetrical shear wall in the building also we will learn how to um, uh, learn the effect of the stiffness irregularity effect of the reverse cyclic loading in the building structure in the module third we will learn about the ETAPS software we will learn what is ETAPS we will learn that introduction to ETAPS 2016 software. Now, latest ETAPS version is ETAPS 2018 software. We will learn basic introduction to the methodology of design of building structure. We will learn how to read the grid in the AutoCAD. We will learn how to uh, different set between the when importing the grid from the AutoCAD or defining it manually the grid. What are the difference between them? We will learn about it. Mm, yeah, there are many features in this um, ETAPS software. Mm, we will learn defining menu in the ETAPS, like defining material, how we define the material. This is the apartment building. This is the defined menu. I will learn the, the define the material properties. We will learn define the section properties, frame section. Mm, under the frame section, we will learn how to define the column, beam, secondary beam, staircase beam. Also in the uh, section properties menu, we will learn how to define the slab section, in that we will define the cantilever slab, uh, floor slab, stair slab, etc. Also in the define menu, uh, menu we will learn how to define the wall section, we will define the basement wall, we will define the lift wall, this is a highly unsymmetrical building, we will learn how to design it. 
also in the define menu we will learn how to define the diagram diagram function also we will learn how to define the load pattern in the load pattern we will we'll, uh, define the date load life load staircase load floor finish load wall load um, earthquake load um, we will learn how to design it also we will learn how to define the load combination according to the um, according to the uh, Indian standard codes SLS the NBC code this is done according to the Indian standard codes also we will learn how to define the load cases in it there uh, here are two kinds of load cases one is linear static load cases and another is response is spectrum load cases we will learn um, the both in this case we will learn how to de um, define the response spectrum function how to scale the factor in response spectrum uh, re spectrum and others also we will learn how to define the mass source here is the mass source in define we have the mass source Mm. modify show mass source we learn how to add the one mass source in e type uh, what the, what is the code pro provision for the mass source to calculate the seismic weight in e tabs now second is a uh, modeling menu in e tabs we learn how to model the column well, we will learn how to model the beam, we will learn how to model the floor slab, balcony, staircase, shear walls, retaining walls and jet beam in staircase for open well staircase. We will learn all that. Mm, let us look at the model, we will learn how to model this. This is shear wall modeling. Um, we will learn at the elevation view. Mm, elevation A. We will learn how to model this is shear wall, this is column, how to model the beam also you look you look at the 3d view we will learn how to model the when staircase mm. this is staircase portion we will learn how to model the staircase in it as, as well we will learn about the floor slab uh, balcony slab um, as well as lift core wall all together we will learn how to model in it apps mm. this is the part of the modeling mm. now next fast is assign menu in ETAPS we will learn how to assign the date loads, life loads, wind loads, cell loads, frame loads how to assign the diagram, how to assign the auto edge constraint how to assign the support condition, how to assign the seismic loads how to assign the pyre and spandrel in ETAPS here we can see uh, display load assigns frame load here is uh, wall load We'll we'll look at this. How we'll learn how to assign this kind of load, how to calculate the load and assign in it as Also, we will learn how to define the response spectrum analysis in ETAPS and how to check the model and redesign the fail members in these uh, ETAPS as well. Next section is design checks in steps. Mm, modeling is not only the thing, we have to ch uh, check the different parameters in the ETAPS. The different parameters that we have to check in ETAPS are listed in this syllabus. In that we have to check the displacement, we have to check the drip, we have to check the drip ratio, eccentricity, model mass participation ratio, section failures, rebar percentage. Uh, in this we will learn uh, how to check the maximum percentage of the rebar in column beam slab, minimum percentage of the rebar in column beam slab. We will learn PMM interaction ratio, we will check the beam column capacity, we will check the torsional irregularity, we will check the soft story and soft, uh, extreme soft story, we will check the mass irregularity in ETAPS. Now model 5 is the design of the RCC members. Modeling and analyzing are the different things and design is the different things. We will uh, obtain the results from the ETAPS data and design the different type of foundation like design of isolated footing, design of combined footing, design of strap footing, design of raft footing. For this we use uh, the Excel sheet mm, that we have designed in design files, mm, footing design, uh, design of isolated footing. Mm, we'll take the uh, results from the ETFs data and designer. Only we have to uh, input the grid name. We have to the, uh, input the footing type. We have to input the factor axial load. And we have to enter the um, weight of the column, depth of the column, bearing capacity of the shell, 
then rest of it will design itself and give us the one summary data like length of the footing weight of the footing effective depth of the footing overall depth of the footing diameter of the bar to be used the spacing of the bar the spacing of the bar all this uh, it will give automatically we will design isolated footing like this time uh, this type and again we have another type of the footing um, is that strap strap footing strap footing also we have to input the data here we have to input the uh, data here it will it will auto change the values from here it will calculate we will also learn how to manually design it it will give the result automatically the, in this type we can de uh, we can design the strap beam also mm, another is we uh, combined footing design in combined footing design also mm, detail calculation enable content continue mm, wait a second we have two sheets to design the combined footing we can design here also in this sheet also mm, also we can design in another sheet also we have to put the values and it gives the result we can design like this type of the combined footing also mm, also uh, we, we can design the ref foundation also we'll take the axial loads from the column we'll input the data here and it will give the results this is for the mm, footing part now uh, we can design the column also we can design the beam we can design the slab and we can design the staircase for the column design we have to check the data mm, footing design this is uh, column design we will input the rebar from the mm, giving the rebar area from the ETAS and check whether it passes the maximum percentage minimum percentage of the steel or not how to provide the rebar it will give automatically in this way you, we can design the column also mm, for the mm, combined footing we have another sheet also I was sourcing that previous uh, this is the recent sheet where we can input the data here and it will check automatically uh, shear check one way shear check two way shear check uh, it will give automatically whether it is safe in one way shear two way shear or not mm, also it will give the longitudinal reinforcement mm, and at last it will give the summary sheet a length of the footing weight of the footing effective depth of the overall of depth of the footing bottom reinforcement top reinforcement air reinforcement spacing it will give it automatically we'll um, take the results from the ETAP and design it in this sheet here also we'll learn manually how to design it now for the slab design from the for the slab design we'll grip the slab name here thickness here overall depth uh, it will calculate we'll only give the floor finishing load live load partition load other it will calculate automatically whether um, it is shaped in depth also not a reinforcement it will check it will check def deflection is okay or not it will check crack wide it will check for shear everything it will give and at last it will give the summary also now another parameter is we'll learn how to um, staircase design Uh, we'll give the grade of the concrete, grade of the steel, uh, effective span. It will calculate automatically from here. Waste slab thickness. We'll give the floor finish and live loads. All the other data it will calculate automatically. This is the advanced guide of the Excel sheet to calculate the staircase design. Now this is model six. We'll learn the ductile detailing of the RCC member. We'll learn how to ductile detailing of the column, ductile detailing of the beam, ductile detailing of the slab, ductile detailing of the staircase, as well as ductile detailing of the footing in this session. Now we'll learn how to prepare the municipal report. We'll learn how to prepare the structural drawing of footing, uh, column, beam, slab, staircase, mm, and also we'll learn how to process to fill the municipal EBPS form. And this is the sample report I've designed. You will learn how to prepare this kind of report. This is the simple residential building report. We will also learn how to uh, prepare the report for the municipal year. We have checked the story displacement. We have checked the model participation mass ratio. We have checked the uh, story. Mm, this is the results obtained from the um, 
it has we have uh, put here this is the sample design mm, of beam column slab staircase footing also here we learn how to prepare for the ebps data entry how to fill this data form without any mistake we learn this Also, we learn how to analyze the steel structure in ETAPS as well as analyze of RCC building plus steel structure. In that, uh, we'll um, model the RCC part in the um, RCC part in the bottom part as well as each roof truss in the top part. This, um, this we learn in ETAPS. This is the entire course we learn in this workshop, and you will be professional to use this software as well as ductile detailing. Main part is ductile detailing main part is how to design and the results how to check the results you will know all this lesson in this section thank you